out for the state championship at 171 pounds. John Koss is the defending champ. He's from Collingswood, a senior 34-0 against Anthony Vitola from Freehold Township, a senior 28-0-1. The question in this bout, Steve, is whether John Koss's knee can hold up. He's been limping through this tournament and really been impressive, but he's been in obvious pain from the first whistle of this championship. You see the huge brace. Oh, and Koss with a what? tremendous, strong use of his body to lift the toe and throw him to the mat. John uh, shooting in on a takedown and using his power uh, really demonstrated that uh, he's going to be in this championship bout and a, a factor to contend with. He has a torn cartilage in that right knee. He'll have surgery two weeks after this state final. He's been wrestling on one leg since the region quarterfinal. He won the regions, and he's made it way all the way to the state final. He's a real champion, and he's got some slicks. There was a beautiful go behind. Uh, had a dump situation and went behind. Uh, he's really got some technique. The returning champion from 171, John Koss of Collingswood High School, undefeated for this year. He's been forced to go the distance just twice this year. A 9-1 victory over Brian Water of Hamilton West, and then also in the semifinals of this tournament against Anthony Aiello of Paramus. But again, remember, he's wrestling on one knee. Currently leading 4-2 with 53 seconds in the first period. Remember, we had five defending champions coming in. Only one is one. Emilio Nardone at 130. Koss looking to make it number two. It's an incredible story. He's pretty much wrestling on blood and guts. He limped off that semifinal bout, and I thought, how is he ever going to come back into the finals and perform? And it's obvious to me that he has a lot of will. 4-2, John Koss leading Anthony Vitola from Freehold Township. Anthony had a real nice shot there, but again, wasn't able to finish it off. John Koss successfully defending. Anthony Vitola came into this tournament with complete confidence. He said, hey, I'm winning this thing. And so far, he's moved through the tournament with ease, had an impressive pin in the semifinals against Brad Sakovich from Jefferson. Currently trailing John Koss as we are coming to the conclusion of the first period. It's 4-2. John Koss with the lead over Anthony Vitola. John Koss won the championship last year at 160. A victory over Dan Highwell from Belleville. 7-2 was the final score. Koss last year was 28-1. This year he's 34-0. His victory in the semifinals gave him his 100th career win. Second period, 148 to go. Koss over Vitola, 4-2. Anthony's really wrestling smart, coming up to his feet. Uh, if he were to stay down on the mat, that would really make it easy for John to control and not really drive off that knee as much as he is now having to defend that stand-up each time that Anthony comes up. Obviously, if you've only got one leg, you're not going to be as mobile, and uh, it's a matter of time that uh, that if uh, Tony keeps working off the bottom, he uh, he has the potential to get out. We've seen other wrestlers in this particular tournament go after the knee. The Tola's pretty much stayed away. You're right. Uh, he's tried to uh, perform his moves. There's one for an escape, and now we have a 4-3 bout. Another tight one in the state championships. Koss leading 4-3 with 117 to go here, second period. Again, John Koss, you see the huge brace. He is wrestling with torn cartilage in the knee. He suffered it during the region quarterfinals. He will have surgery performed in two weeks. 
just an amazing story how he's been able to really perform with the pain and perform oh so well to make to the state final. He's in pain. John Koss, coached by Ron Hamrick. He's in his seventh year. Anthony Vitola, coached by Gunther Schmiedel. He's in his 20th year. There's a great attempt, single leg attempt. John wasn't able to counter that one. Has he given him the two? No. Vitola picks up the two points. And Vitola now leads 5-4. You see the pain. You see him limping around. It's incredible how far he's gone and how far he can go if he can hold on, take advantage, and win a second state crown. 26 seconds, and he had to put himself in a scoring position, uh, tying it up with a one-point escape. We have a tie bout, 5-5, and really, uh, it's anybody's match so far. Remember, only one defending state champ has repeated. That was Emilio Nardone from Belleville of 130. Koss is hoping to make it number two, and currently he's deadlocked with Anthony Fatola. That was a great call by the referee. Two-point takedown. Anthony Vitola's uh, knees and feet way in the uh, inbound circle. Uh, John completely out of bounds, but uh, with Anthony having control and his uh, feet inbounds, he's awarded two takedown. So it's 7-5 as we head to the third and final period of action. Anthony Vitola on top in the light blue uniform with the Patriots written across the front. He leads John Koss, the wrestler on the bottom. 7-5 is our score, and it comes down to the final two minutes at 171. Steve, the momentum has changed slightly. Now John, John's got a reversal situation. Now he's to make the decision. Is he going to go for the two or go for the one? He's going for the two, and that's a two-point reversal. So we're tied at seven apiece. John Koss reaching back. What a performance this has been. He's on one leg, ladies and gentlemen. Torn cartilage in the right knee. Surgery in two weeks, and yet he's even up at 171 for a state crown. 135 to go. What a performance and what fruit strength from John Koss from Collingswood. He's got trouble right now. The free old township corner, you heard them, yelling out in disappointment. That's Gunther Schmiedel in the corner. In the corner of John Koss, Ron Hamrick in his seventh year. 7-7, seven, seven. 128 to go. Incredible, Chet, how close we have seen so many bouts go. So many bouts have gone down to the final seconds. This bout uh, is going to have an interesting twist. John Koss has got to ride him out to send it in overtime, but I suspect that uh, Anthony will get out. There's one point for an escape, and we've got an 8-7 bout. Anthony Vitolo with the lead, 8-7 over John Koss. 114 to go. That was a good call. Ken Hart making the call out of bounds. That was a very good call. One minute. Eight sevens the score. Anthony Vitola. Hey, no slouch, Anthony Vitola. 28-0-1 heading in. 68-11-2 in his career. District 21 champ, region six champ. And right now, he's got a one-point advantage over the defending champ, John Koss. 45 seconds to go. Referee Ken Hart uh, just warned Anthony, and if Anthony doesn't start to pick up the tempo, this bout could be sent in overtime with a stalling call. 35 seconds. Eight, seven, Vitola trying to hold on. Koss looking for the move and the advantage at the end. We'll see what happens as we count it down. 22 seconds to go. Takedown by either wrestler is gonna win this championship. 
Both wrestlers on their feet. That's Koss in the dark blue. Vitola in the light blue. It's a great shot. There's a great shot. Can he finish it off? No, not yet. There's no takedown. Not yet. Referee Ken. Yes. Takedown. Two at a count. John Koss coming up with the move of the tournament. Oh, John Koss is a defending champ. And now he's a repeater. He did it on one knee. He did it on blood and guts. An incredible performance for a two-time state champion. He reached back. That's what it's all about. That one moment. The moment he'll remember for an entire lifetime. John Koss is truly a champion. What a move. Anthony, in deep, about to score and seal his championship, is countered, and John Koss coming up on top with not only a takedown, but near fall points. Incredible John Koss being carried off, but as he gets to his feet, the referee comes over and raises his hand. John Koss, a state champion of 171. We'll be back with more of the state finals on NJN, the New Jersey channel, after this.